Well, hello everybody. It's Bruce Palmer here with uh, my wife, Janie, and also uh, guest, uh, Jan Fackery. The two of us are gonna talk with you all today about the upcoming uh, July month for Madre. And um, we're looking forward to it. It's been a while since we've been able to get together uh, later this month in July for the Tacos for Madre. But before we get into that, let's talk about a little bit about Madre in the first place and our relationship with our sister parish. Hi, I'm Jan Fackery. Always happy to talk about our sister parish, uh, Parroquia Maria Madre de las Pobres. It is, uh, for those of you that don't know, I think probably many of you do, um, Madre is located in one of the poorest areas of San Salvador in El Salvador. I think there are about 30,000 people that actually live in that area. I've been multiple times on medical delegations. I was lucky enough to be able to go for the canonization of um, St. Oscar Romero. So what I'd like to tell you a little bit about today is the things that we do for our sister parish. Uh, we have been accompanying them for about, I think almost 34 years. The parish has only been, they just celebrated their 38th anniversary um, with some celebrations. And I wanted to start out by reading just a quote that came from the email that they sent us about their anniversary. And it said, says, we have met as a community and walked a path of transparency for our communities and our lives. In these 38 years, we haven't walked alone. You have been walking beside us in the darkest moments, and we are very thankful for that. I always get a little choked up, sorry. Um, we've accompanied Madre in many different areas. Um, we have helped start the CAPI, which is a school that started out as a preschool and is now uh, preschool through sixth grade. We provide not only education and a safe environment, but also breakfast and lunch. Many of the children that attend there are from single parent homes, the moms primarily, and so it's just a really good safe place for them to be. They've now expanded it, as I said, to sixth grade, which is, which is really nice. Then we have our sponsorship program. Many of you are probably involved with that. And the sponsored children actually um, receive many benefits. Uh, they have, uh, besides their education, or their tuition for their education, they receive medical care. They receive um, help with just their general supplies, school supplies, and also even birthday celebrations. Uh, if you have any interest in being a sponsor, you can contact Karen Miller at the parish. The parish also uh, is a destination for delegations from visitation. We have been there many times for medical delegations. We take doctors, nurses, physical therapists. Uh, even one time we took a pharmacist. And we hold a clinic for a week for all the people and they absolutely love it. The years that we had to miss because of gang violence, uh, the people were just heartbroken. So. We are trying to get together a delegation actually for the first week in October, but we're short medical personnel. So if anyone's interested there again, you can contact either me or Karen Miller. We've also provided support for the parish staff when needed. We have also done solidarity delegations, which are people that are not of you know, medical personnel and they go down and help the parish just with different projects that we need. So we've accompanied them for quite a while. They've, they face so many hardships. It's the gang violence, uh, now the rising costs of foods and, food and supplies, and other issues that are associated with living in poverty. As our longtime liaison and most wonder, wonderful advocate for Madre and our delegations and a frequent lifelong visitor, I wanted to quote Pauline Dolan, who said, visitation pledged to take this longer, more unpredictable road in serving the poor. We sought to replace foreign assistance with humility, trust, patience, and constancy. We wow. 
really try to make a point of making it. It's not aid, it's more accompaniment. We walk with them and they walk with us. And when we're praying for them, trust me, they're praying just as hard for us. So we have several activities um, during the month of July, my favorite month also because it's summer, but because it's Madre month. And Bruce will talk to you a little bit about the taco dinner if you are unable to attend that or would just like to donate to the parish, to the sister parish, you can go online to online giving on the visitation website and there will be a um, location where starting July 1st where you can donate to Madre. I think it's money for Madre, right? It just says Madre month. Madre month, okay. So yeah, if you're <laughs> we're always in need of, of help in ways to accompany them on their journey, so we would appreciate anything that you can contribute to that. I, want, I wanted to finish my part with a quote from St. Oscar Romero. The guarantee of one's prayer is not in saying a lot of words. The guarantee of one's petition is very easy to know. How do I treat the poor? Because that is where God is. Bruce, tell us about the tacos. I will. Jan, thank you for that moving uh, message right there and history of Madre. So this year, for the first time, Janie and I uh, are chairs of the Tacos for Madre event. So it's we're excited about, and we've been uh, doing some planning and working on that ahead of time. So it's going to be July 24th um, in the evening from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., and the price will be $10 per person or $35 per family. And as Janie and I thought about this, uh, we wanted it to be like it used to be, because it's been two years but since we've been able to have the Tacos for Madre. So we're very excited to be able to bring it back. We're looking forward to having a big turnout, and we're going to keep it the way it was in the past with very um, colorful tablecloths and the decorations and the posters, and there's even a banner that we, we're updating, and we're going to have it for the event. So we're really looking forward to it. Uh, Mark Blanc is the cook for us. He's going to be preparing all the wonderful tacos, beef and chicken, and rice and beans and all the things you might, chips, everything you might think. Tamales. Uh, and, and then also, yeah, we've contacted the Tamale Kitchen. They've agreed to be coming back. It's been two years for them, too. So they'll be with us, and we have the tamales, all sorts of uh, savory things and uh, beverages for all ages. Um, we're even looking into some entertainment, some music maybe that we can pipe in, it, uh, it, you know, for the place. And so really looking forward to it. Um, I think that might be everything, except that also it's really an honor also of um, Margaret Giblin, who is, is a woman that was down yeah. to, yeah, and you probably in know her. Yeah. Yes. She would be going down there in her 80s to rock the babies. That's a story I heard just to be with them and to be together. So um, this is just a great event. We're happy to be part of uh, bringing it to you this, this year and look forward to seeing everybody there. And in September, of course, we have Ride for Madre, which is a Bob Steiner, Sam Otto venture, and they always love to have other riders along. So keep that in mind and watch for information in the bulletin about that. I think that's really it, Bruce. Yeah, I think um, we've covered everything. And so we'll just say Monsignor will be back next week. Adios and <laughs> God bless.